Today, I will be playing some of the worst rated tower defense games on this platform, Roblox. There's actually not really a whole lot of terrible games that are known. Like, tower Balls has a 91%. This game has 89% egg hunt. It's it's middle of May. That's, I, I think it's a bit late. But we need something with worse ratings like this one. 77% range, World Tower Defense. And it's actually somewhat known because it has 12 million visits. Well, let's view the trailer first. That's a interesting song choice. Animations are a bit odd. Style overall could be better. Mm, I don't know how to feel about this. Definitely not my style. Zombie defense with 75% ratings. I don't even think this is a tower defense game, but it kind of looks like it. Is this is this Molten Boss from, from TDS? Typical tower defense game with 58% rating. Wow. Tower defense and multiverse with 73%. And basic tower defense with 72% ratings. Okay, I joined World Tower Defense and uh, the guys look weird we're all from 2006 looks like this guy's speaking uh spanish and i look stupid as hell this guy has a cardboard box as a hat and this guy has a letter f as his uh face and this guy is on drugs so already i can tell this game is pretty weird i assume this is some sort of shop so i get sniper soldier and the rest of them are locked. Got Devil Man, Cryomancer, Destructor, Engineer, Businessman, Farmer, Roger, Igniter, Bank, Brawler, and Trophy Units as well, and Token Units, and Special Units. I'm not gonna read all those. But this game has a lot of towers. Unfortunately, they're locked behind coins, and I need to get coins. I'll just save my money and go into survival. All right, choose our maps. Grassland, and start. We have five modes, but only three we can choose. Let's do casual. Start now. Where the hell is the paths? I legit don't know where the paths are. We have one soldier. Uh, anyways, are, what, what is this poorly drawn art? Oh, there's a zombie. Die zombie. Oh, the zombie's actually beating up my soldier. What the hell? Th this peasant's beating him up. <laughs> what? And my soldier died. Okay, that was weird. Guess the best strategy is to spam a bunch of soldiers like this. Can I uh, not upgrade my towers? I can't. This is barely a tower defense game. You you are missing one of the key components of to upgrade your stuff. This guy's on one HP while well, he died. What the hell are you doing, rusher that goes to the side of the map and flanks me, right? Or just goes straight to this thing? Oh, I gotta click upgrade here. That's really weird. I think I'm just gonna die. They're just being the hell on my base and there's not really much gonna do. Can't be spot Why? I think I'm gonna die now. I died on casual. Okay, guess I'll place on sniper, sure. I get a dollar per second. Wow, that's really slow. I do get money for killing bad guys or damage, so I guess that's cool, but my sniper's gonna die now. And he died. And now I have no defense. I could afford one soldier, which will be placed down. I don't think it's gonna be enough though, because it's just one and he's gonna get beat down. I lost again. I can see why this game has such low ratings when I die on casual mode with the towers they give me. Up next is zombie defense, which is spelled with a C. That means this guy is British. Awesome, free gold. Look, let's build a base where to defend your flag gets incoming zombies. Build, I get blocks of crap. This kind of feels like a ripoff of Minecraft, but worse somehow. And I get a piece of garbage cannon. Your base looks amazing. You call this amazing? Shop, target thing, start. Good luck with the mission, now let's start the game. So there's my really crappy pirate war cannon. Your tiny voice has no chance against us and you spelled against wrong. I get a knife, what the hell? I stab zombies myself? Here dude, let me just shank the hell out of the zombie with 35 HP. <laughs> All right, let's see what the cannon does. Okay, I think I've seen enough of this game. Up next is typical tower defense game with 654 likes to 463 likes. The other ones weren't nearly as bad. This one's the worst one so far. Better than every other tower defense game. This is the best one. Hmm, okay, interesting. All right, this is the intro. We have circle map and bend map and spiral map now. Here's the shot. We got soldier, mech base, mill base, and that's a car, minigunner, sniper, devil man, scout, farm, and railgun, which is literally from tower balls. And I guess it's from tower balls too. Why well, not 250 credits? I guess I'm just gonna go for sniper. There's a Robux shop and you get 501 credits for 500 Robux. And he's actually charging you 500 Robux. As if this game is worth even 100 Robux to spend on. So you're, so you're telling me that this railgun tower balls copy tower is worth 3000 Robux. Okay, and go on circle map. You can play up to 10 players, so that's something new, I guess, playing up to 10 people. This game's so good, there's two startings. Okay, I'll place on scout. Um, wow, this game sucks. And I'll place on sniper now, I guess. Oh, 
Got placed down on a cliff. Such a terrible spot to Ugger just got to 20 range. The only good thing about this game is that I'm running at 600 FPS, which isn't saying much considering this is a base speed map. It should be running at near a thousand frames per second, but I guess this game is made poorly. Place down another scout. God, his UI looks like trash. Oh my god, I just realized how awful it looks. He isn't even holding a gun right, and I, and I, and I believe that's three arms being being dispersed right now. Ugger is scout, so now he has a hat and shades. I really don't know if this scout's gonna be enough. Come on, crappy scout, do your best. Okay, place down another sniper, but this time in a better location. I will say that this game is more entertaining than the uh, other two, especially on the first one, because I kept dying before wave five. Upgrade sniper to have you more range. And I just lagged. For a game that looks like garbage, I would expect this to not lag, but it did. Also, these animations, you can already tell, are just really weird. Another issue with this game is that I can't click on my tower because of this blue circle, so I gotta look under and then click on it. That's really moronic. We have boss one from, from tower balls. I'm not sure we'll be able to kill the boss one. Arm stuff is an up grenade. Wow, creative. And we have hidden guys straight from tower balls. And now we have mystery guys as if we couldn't get worse. I think we know boss guys spawn, but we got one stealth that leaked. Our first chunk of damage. Necromancer from tower balls. I think I'm just gonna lose now. I don't think there's any way I could really reasonably defeat this. I have too many towers. You're telling me this, this piece of trash game can't support more than 12 towers on the field. You fool. Boss 2 with 800 health from tower balls. I maxed out my sniper, which shoots a laser. Apparently, yeah, it shoots out a laser. I have, I really have no choice but just, just to upgrade snipers. Lavas from tower balls. Necromancer is really annoying because of how fast I keep spawning out these guys and my snipers will waste their targeting on them. Got our first hidden boss, which is getting pawn right now. There are now three Necromancers in the back. This is terrible because my snipers will keep wasting their time with these guys instead of the uh, actual good stuff. Yo, I think I'm just going to lose because there's no splash damage towers at all in this game. Sure, they can die fast, but snipers are just going to waste time on them versus actual guys like this. Oh, cool. We have lightnings to just make it even worse. <clears throat> call it. This game, call me a loser. I want everyone to not like this game. And anyway, now we have mech, tower defense, multiverse beta. Wanna play the tutorial? No. Flame, god damn it, just throwing so many stuff at me, god damn it! Tower defense multiverse? Yeah, sure, I'll play, play. Another one? One more? I'm poor. This game is trash, I don't like it! Whoop, I've seen enough. Anyways, out of all the games that I played, the only one that was most fun was the poorly made one that you could actually get past wave 20. It's sad at how that joke of a game is actually the best one out of all the ones I played. Hey, we wait for TGX to come out, thanks.